Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. Today we are going to talk about some of the biggest cheaters in the history of Battlefront 2015 on the Xbox One. But I want to mention this real quick. Players need to realize that it isn't just hacks or mods. There's many different forms of cheating when it comes to gaming. I've seen plenty of replies on Battlefront forums on different websites where people say there isn't any cheaters on Xbox or PlayStation on Battlefront games, and those people have no clue about what they are talking about. Sure, there isn't many hackers on console Battlefront, but there are a few, and there's different types of cheating that go along with that, which is what people need to understand, like in-game glitches being used against other players in public matches. That is cheating. The greatest example of that in the history of this game was the Lando glitch, which has been patched. However, there are a few other glitches that are still being exploited on this game because many of them were never fixed or patched. Another form of cheating I have to mention before we get started is mouse and keyboard on console, which is arguably the worst form of cheating in terms of console gaming. It's the biggest unfair advantage, and there are a lot of Battlefront players on console that use a mouse and keyboard, which is complete bullshit. So to round it up real quick, hacks are extremely rare on console Battlefront, that is more of a thing on PC, but there are a handful of players that do use hacks on Xbox. So it's hacks, in-game glitches, mouse and keyboard, and also modded controllers. Moving on with the video. Here are the five Battlefront players on Xbox that have cheated repeatedly that made this list. Starting off with Unruly Thule 451. This guy is known for exploiting glitches, specifically the Red 5 fighter glitch in both Fighter Squadron and in the Death Star DLC. This glitch is not well known, which is a good thing, but this player is one of the very few people that know how to do this glitch and exploits it on a regular basis. Trust me, it gets annoying, obviously, when somebody pretty much has god mode for half a match, and there's literally nothing you can do about it except go after his teammates instead. And as soon as the match is over, you are pretty much forced to leave the game and play something else because there's just not that many lobbies to come by anymore. So this guy has partially ruined those two game modes, which is unfortunate because it is nice to mix things up a bit and play something different on this game every once in a while. Moving on to another cheater on this game, FJ. This guy was known for using several glitches on both of the newer Battlefront games. In particular, the hero glitch on Battlefront 3 he used multiple times, so his team literally had four to six heroes or villains on his team at a time in Walker Assault. He also uses a mouse and keyboard which is about as low as you can possibly go on console as I've already mentioned. And to top it off he is one of the biggest stream snipers when it comes to Battlefront. He has been in my stream disrupting my chat. Sometimes he brings in some of his eight-year-old little friends to disrupt my chat and he literally just joins the game gets a hero and usually camps at the back of the map waiting for somebody to push. Either that or he uses the stream to know exactly where I'm at to try and kill me. He's also done the same exact thing to other Battlefront streamers on both YouTube and Twitch. On to another cheater, and this is where the hacks come in. Tyranniku. This player has a few different types of mods that are very specific to him. A few in particular I have never seen from anyone else. The one that stands out the most is this right here, when he uses secondary fire. So hear me out really quick. I use the heavy repeater more than anyone. So I know that weapon pretty well and I know what it's capable of or what secondary fire is capable of. As you can see, he literally shoots secondary fire through shields. And it doesn't matter what your health is at, he will kill you no matter what. Now, in case you didn't know this, it is not possible to kill somebody at 130 health with secondary fire unless you hit a proximity bomb. I have tested it out in public matches and in private matches by shooting somebody in the head point blank with secondary fire. It will not kill them. 
He kills people that are at 130 health, and he's killing them through a shield, which is not possible with secondary fire. I've ran into him several times in Walker Assault, and I have contributed to getting him suspended from Xbox Live a few times by reporting him, which is what I suggest if you ever see him or any other player on this list that continues to cheat in the future. Moving on to the next player on this list, Quick Joey 31681 There's been a lot of debate about this guy on EA Battlefront forums and on Reddit in the past few years, and I'm going to squash that debate right now. This guy has unlimited jump packs, unlimited shields, you name it, he does it. And a few idiots came to the defense of Joey saying that he was using the bounty hunter trait to use the jump pack and shield faster, but I have played against Quick Joey enough to know that is completely false. He doesn't even use the bounty hunter trait half of the time. On top of that, it is not possible to use the bounty hunter trait and get it maxed out at level 3 right after you join a game, which is what you just saw. He loads into a game, gets only 2 kills, and you're gonna tell me he has trait level 3 bounty hunter on fucking steroids after just loading into a game? No, sorry, that's a mod. So hats off to Putney for being the first person to call BS on this guy. To be honest, I couldn't even show some of the replies that were sent to Putney's original post. The people that sent some of those replies in the forums should be ashamed of themselves for being very disrespectful to him and also for not getting their facts straight and defending such a sorry excuse for a player who has to cheat on a really simple video game. Moving on to the last big cheater on this list, Germs, aka Sergeant Germs, aka Hexoma. This guy has three or four different accounts. His main account is this one. In my opinion, he is tied with Quick Joey for being the biggest cheater on the Xbox version of Battlefront. Germs uses a mouse and keyboard. He also has exploited many different types of glitches in the past. And there has been a lot of speculation about him using a bodyguard and cooling cell type of mod. He shoots beyond the limits of overheating on whatever weapon he uses. When you play against him, many people have described it as him having level 3 bodyguard on at all times, without actually having bodyguard or cooling cell on at all. When you mix that in with a mouse and keyboard and oh yeah, by the way, using some of the cheapest bullshit on the game every single time he plays this game, yeah, there's just no way for most players to kill him. There's been several posts about him cheating. His second account has been banned by Xbox Live a handful of times, but he's pretty much gotten away with it because he still plays this game on a regular basis and uses different accounts. Regardless of all that, like I said guys, using a mouse and keyboard is the worst form of cheating. Exploiting several glitches mainly to kill other players is cheating. There's a reason why certain players don't have a YouTube channel or a Twitch channel. Anyways, I'm expecting this video to have a lot of different reactions because I know how some of the Battlefront community can be, but I really don't care. I'm posting this video because some of us just want to chill out and have a good time. Some of us just want to have fun by playing this game. And the people on this list and many others get in the way of that. So I'm going to leave it at that. Have a great day and I'll catch you next time. Peace.